Imagine you're in quarantine over the coronavirus right now, but get this. You're not in sunny Southern California. Look at this shit. So if you ever see police just sitting about in a gas station or parking lot, uh, what do you guys think they're doing? I've heard sometimes they're on break, but uh, they're there for quite a while. You made a comment, I believe on Fox, in which you said President Trump will not allow the coronavirus to come to this country. Given what has happened since then, obviously, would you like to take that back? I guess I would turn the question back on the media and ask similar questions. Does Vox want to take back that they proclaim that the coronavirus would not be a deadly pandemic? Does the Washington Post want to take back that they told Americans to get a grip the flu is bigger than the coronavirus? Does the Washington Post likewise want to take back that our brains are causing us to exaggerate the threat of the coronavirus? Does the New York Times want to take back that fear of the virus may be spreading faster than the virus itself? Does NPR want to take back that the flu was a much bigger threat than the coronavirus? And finally, once again, the Washington Post, would they like to take back that the government should not respond aggressively to the coronavirus? I'll leave you with those questions and maybe you'll have some answers in a few days. First, I was like, ah! <laughs> but now that I've had time to absorb it, it's all working out. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> got me all the way fucked up if you think that I'm gonna wait in this line to work out with a mask on and I cannot take it with people anymore so I just came back from the store I was wearing my mask social distancing we're still doing that now in the United States we've started using the expression Q Q U E U E I think that's how you spell it like when you queue up when you get up in a line right so that's from Great Britain and stuff so that's what you say Q Q U E U E I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. don't get mad at me if I spelled it wrong but you pronounce it Q right so I'm standing in the line all of a sudden I hear a ruckus up in front of me you always when there's a ruckus you always are like you know I hear a ruckus and I see it and there's a lady yelling and she runs up to this the lady she goes you're not doing the quay right you got to get in the quay the lady's like i'm not in your way she said, i didn't say wait quay you're not in the quay get in the quay everybody's supposed to be in the quay so the manager comes over what's going on here and they're like she, she, she's not in the quay the lady's like i don't know what she's talking about she said ma'am it's q she's like no it's quay they start arguing about the pronunciation q or quay q i mean pretty soon are we gonna start doing a tiktok dance and be like oh quay oh quay oh quay are we gonna go old school and be like quay ho oh, i'm okay are you okay i cannot take it with people anymore what's going on so Walmart is now asking their customers to wear masks. Good luck with that. You can't even get them to wear pants. Was the coronavirus planned? It seems like that is the case. Let's take a look. Event 201 was a global pandemic exercise in October of 2019, only months before coronavirus came on the scene. It was funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Fauci warned in 2017 that something like this would happen during the Trump administration. This was spoken at Georgetown University, that there would be a challenge coming to the administration in the arena of infectious diseases. Is it a coincidence that Bill Gates is the one that funded this 201 conference and then this was released and now he's the one pushing for the vaccine? I'm telling you, they're trying to control you. The Bible says in the last days there's going to be a one world government, a one world religion, and a one world currency led by a one world leader, the Antichrist. And he's going to implement a mark system to buy, sell, or trade. So you see, the masks are just the start. You have to get a mask to go in the store, and soon it's going to be a mark. Get right with Jesus Christ today. Biblical prophecy is real. You know, up until the corona hit, everybody thought people who made moonshine were just a bunch of hillbilly rednecks. <laughs> Look who's laughing now, because Billy John's up on the mountain making your hand sanitizer by the court. I don't understand all these people giving me dirty looks while I'm running. Like, where have you been the past eight months before coronavirus, Karen? Definitely not here. I, I can't stand it no more. It's just too hot. It's hotter than the devil's ass itself. I mean, shit. The sweating. And everybody can see my pit stains and my titty stains and my butt crack stains. It looks like I'm having a wet t-shirt contest with myself. That's why we stay in the house. <laughs> Oh, you're not essential. <laughs> Can't relate. Um, they are checking our temperatures at the door now, which is great, but they should be doing it rectally because you get a more accurate readout and since they're already fucking us anyway. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs>
<laughs> damn. So it's a three day weekend. The temperature is going to be about 80 degrees and the stay at home order has been lifted in some way or another in most areas. Translation, we're all about to act a fool and by Wednesday, we're going to be grounded. Hey guys, so this quarantine, we decided to try and reopen our pool. And we heard on TikTok that if you pour a bottle of vodka into the pool each day, that it'll clear out and be ready to use. And I think it was four days. Like for a part two. Let's go for a walk and see how friendly my fellow New Yorkers are at this time. I hid my camera in a shirt pocket. How's it going? What's going on, bro? Good, good. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. She hates me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Morning. How you doing? How's it going? How you doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Gotta love New York. I still think it's funny that us as Americans just got tired of COVID and decided that it was over. Like, okay.